Now to that alarming prison break overseas, the terror group ISIS attacking a prison facility in Syria, trying to free thousands of fighters and supporters, apparently using children as human shields. UNICEF saying nearly 850 children are now at risk. Our foreign correspondent James Longman is tracking the latest for us. This morning, scores are dead after a mass prison break at a jail holding suspected ISIS fighters in Syria. It all began Thursday when ISIS militants launched an attack on the Guiran prison in Hasaka, northeast Syria, which is thought to hold at least 3,000 former ISIS fighters and their supporters. Rioters inside the facility clashing with security personnel, allowing hundreds of prisoners to rise up, seize weapons from their jailers and flee. U.S.-backed Kurdish forces have been locked in battle with the militants for days, but some are now still in control of parts of the prison. The U.S. has launched airstrikes to support their Kurdish allies, but there are concerns about hundreds of minors kept in the children's wing of this detention center, former so-called caliphate cubs. The ISIS fighters essentially using them as human shields to defend against attacks. UNICEF saying nearly 850 children are at risk, some of them as young as 12. James Longman joining me now live for more. So James, tell us the latest on these reports of these miners being used as human shields within the prison. Such a, a weak and cowardly move. Yeah, Kira, it's a horrific situation and it's fast moving. We understand at the moment the SDF, the Syrian Democratic Forces, that's a collection of Kurds and Arabs that fight ISIS together with help from the United States. They are preparing to enter the prison, to storm the prison at the moment. There's something like 10,000 troops in the area, so you can see how seriously they're taking this. But it is going to be hard to do that because, as we just heard there, uh, they are holding some of these children as human shields, some of them as young as 12. And all night, uh, the SDF has been outside this prison with loudspeakers trying to get uh, these uh, ISIS fighters to uh, surrender. Some of them, it's understood earlier this morning, did. But there's still a hardcore group inside who will not leave. So uh, the waiting game is really on now to see where this goes. We do know that a number of these fighters have already escaped and have made it out out into Hasaka. This is a town not far from where this prison is. They've gone into people's homes, and that's part of the reason why local authorities have had to displace thousands of people from this town, get them out so that they can find these ISIS fighters, root them out, uh, and get them back into that jail or kill them, of course. Uh, this is a desperate, desperate situation for the people of Hasaka who are waiting to see whether these ISIS fighters can be brought back under control. Kira. Well, and possibly for the entire world, James. I mean, a potential ISIS re resurgence uh, could be catastrophic for Syria. Yeah, that's absolutely right. I mean, no one is suggesting that the caliphate is about to be uh, rebuilt. But this does show just how much more support ISIS has. It's been growing over the last few years. These prisons are horrific. I've been to them. The, the, the conditions in which people are held uh, are, are basically subhuman. The same is true of the camps. More than 80,000 people, men, women and children, are being held in camps, former families of ISIS fighters. But children there as well, over half of that number, 40,000 of them children, cannot be held responsible, surely, for the crimes of their parents. And all of these situations, the camps and the prisons, it's providing uh, the circumstances and the conditions for more extremism, more radicalization, more anger towards the West. And that is the issue here. ISIS is finding fertile ground for its message. And if the United States and its allies don't help the Kurds and the others in this region in dealing with these people who are being held in these detention centers, then it's just going to get worse. This is an unsustainable situation, Kira. Our foreign correspondent, James Longman, joining us live this morning. James, thanks so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.